So converting DVDs to MP4 format is pretty complicated, right? Well, no, I can show you how to do it in just three clicks of the mouse. Hello viewers, right, so DVD software into MP4 format in only three clicks of the mouse. It is very true. And with this particular software's unique hardware acceleration process, uh, you can actually rip a DVD in under five minutes or so, the manufacturers of this software claim. Right, so what's the name of the software? Well, that depends on whether you're using a PC or Windows PC or a Mac. It's called WinX DVD or Mac X DVD. Oh, and if you're interested in any of this software, the links will be in the description for your convenience. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to use this software. I'm gonna show you everything about it. Well, most things that you'd be interested in, every button and every cog. Uh, but first I'm gonna show you how simple it is to use. Right, other thing is, make sure you watch to the end because I'm gonna show you details of a giveaway of a free license for this software, so stay tuned. Anyway, why are we mucking about here talking? Let's go on with the video. Right, so I just want to demonstrate how easy it is. I did say it was gonna be three steps. So literally, you open up the software. This is uh, what you'll be greeted with. You click on this disk button, so that is one. I've got the goonies on here. Click on OK. It's gonna load it up. And there we go, and it's set to default MP4, which I completely recommend. So I'll just click on done. But then just gonna make sure your destination folder is where you want it to be. We'll go into that a little bit later on. So that is basically step two, and step three is run. That is it, that's how simple and straightforward it is. Now what I will do is I'll let this run for maybe a minute and then I'll come back and I'll show you the results of it. So basically I'll stop it once it's got, well there you go. It's already got to one minute 30. So I'm just gonna press stop there. It'll then automatically pop up to where you've recorded it, which is my DVD files. And if I click on this here and then click play, I really, want to be very, very careful because I don't want this to be taken down for copyright reasons. I've seen videos like this taken down. So I'm not going to spend too long watching the quality of the recording. But as you see, it is pretty, pretty good. I can just show you a little scene here. Really, really good quality. I'm very, very impressed with the ripping of it, to be honest. So there you go. It's very, very straightforward and simple. Three clicks, that is it. Right, so now I'm gonna show you a little bit more in depth. Right, just at the very top here, you have already you already know what the disk means, plus folder. If you click on that, uh, it gives you a path to where uh, your DVD is, if it doesn't already automatically detect it. But you can actually browse if you've got DVD files um, or you've got ISO files somewhere already uh, on your computer, you can do it that way instead of just ripping it straight from your drive. ISO image file is exactly the same as the last one. It's just looking for ISO files, clear, fairly self-explanatory, and then options. There's not really much in this, which I really like. Keeps it as simple as possible. Obviously you can change, well not obviously, but you can actually change your default language if English isn't your first language. You've got the option to shut down the computer after conversion, or you can add MP4 files to iTunes library after conversions. And there's just another section here where you can change the video folder where you want it to store and you also you can take snapshot folders and that's default is your pictures as well again along the top here you've got check for updates a couple of buttons here which are going to be of interest to you that's your license to make sure that it's properly licensed to yourself uh, this here is if you've got any problems I haven't had any problems whatsoever, but if you do want to send log files, that's where you can do it. And the last one here is, is invaluable, to be honest with you, because this gives you your user manual and it shows you more in depth of all the features that are on this. And it makes it very, very easy to understand. It's step-by-step -step instructions, lots of tips here as well. Of all the things that you can do, I'm gonna show you a little bit as well about cropping 
and um, also trimming so you can just uh, certain parts of a film um, or disc if you wish you don't have to do the entire disc and subtitles as well I'm going to show you all about subtitles but this explains it all um, if you can't get it from this video right so just to go over the layout here it detects the main title which is always going to be the film and it automatically just checks that but if you wanted to rip other tracks on the DVD you can do that from here now you can merge titles as well so if you wanted to merge title 1 with title 4 then you can do that just by clicking that little switch here set tag that's pretty important if you ask me if you click on that you can then rename the output file name so at the moment it's just automatically the Goonies uh, but you can also change this as well because this will be displayed as a name in some media players and devices such as iTunes, iPhone, iPad, etc. So if you wanted to just make that the Goonies instead of underscore Goonies then that's how you would do it and you can also change the genre as well. Now we've got a little cog here if you want to click on that it gives you some more settings you can change the out Put profile here so brings down this little menu here so if you're looking to put it to certain devices uh, an Apple device for example it will just give you all your default uh, ratios and uh, settings so if you want to do it to an iPad video for example click on that and that will give you your recommended uh, iPad format or settings I guess for whatever iPad that you actually have, which is very, very straightforward. I, I like that. So if you've got the, this particular iPad, click on that, click on done. But as you see, it is very comprehensive, really, really is. So for example, if you want to back it up to YouTube, you just click on that there and click on done. Really as simple, PC general video, click on that and you can play any of these that you fancy click on done music you can do CDs I've mentioned earlier click whatever format you want click on done this gives you the option here of what video codec you want uh, you can change the bit rate for example if you want you can change the frame rate the aspect ratio resolution you can force it up to 1080p if you like the audio codec as well, many channels you want, so if you want to burn it to the original 5.1 stereo and our Dolby Digital or whatever you want to call it, uh, then it is six channels there. You can also change the bit rate, sample rate, there's a lot there to go into, but if you're just wanting it for a general DVD to MP4 format rip, it's three steps but there is more if you want to go into it so I did mention subtitles and trimming as well so this is just going to start up the DVD here and it will start playing along so if you want to stop it just click there if you want to move it on drag it to there so I'll just pause it there for a second uh, you can force the volume up if the volume is very low just keep it at 100 for me. Uh, subtitles. Right, I mentioned subtitles. So you can enable subtitles if you like. And what I mean by that is you can force the subtitles actually on to the screen. So again, if you wanted to put in a built-in subtitles and you wanted to put in Italian subtitles, then they would be physically burnt onto the film or onto the mp4 file if you want to add your own that you can get readily available uh, online and you can download them on your computer you can then add it simple and easy to do that way as well so you can have your own subtitles you can position where you want the subtitles to be top center or bottom trim function pretty handy first of all you have to do is enable trimming here and this will give you a start and stop section here uh, you've got the two sets here you can simply drag them or 
What you can do is put in a time slot as well, a start and stop. It's very, very straightforward to do. This little bit here, if you want to press that, shows you what happens, it puts it on its side. So if you actually wanted to rip it so that it's on its side, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can do that by pressing that button there. It's upside down now, and it's the other way around, and now it's back to normal. Crop and expand. Now, this is comes into play when you've maybe got a DVD that is in 4x3 and you want to force it to go into 16x9. All you would do is enable crop, and then you can actually change it like that. So if you actually just want to burn it, this little portion here is probably a bad example of what I've got because I've not actually got anything here. So if I just move it on slightly. Right, there we go. So you can actually focus it into somebody's face and you could actually burn it just for that moment in the video if you want for the next, you know, and there you go. If you wanted to do that, there is quite a lot in this. Right, the only other thing that I haven't really spoken about is you've got... Uh, a hardware de encoder, it detects what you've got. So if you click on that, it shows you what I've got. My process, my setup, it really is needing updated. So it just shows you that uh, I've got a very old system um, and you can use it on any system. So it doesn't have to be an up-to-date system for this to work. And you can also click on use high quality engine or deinterlacing. Now, if you don't know what they are, then I suggest not touch them but you can also play around with them if you like there's also a safe mode as well and you can also click how many cores you want your cpu to use so just to go over it again it's very very simple click on disk browse where you want it your destination folder to be and click run and that's all there is to it. So there you go, I really wasn't lying, three clicks of the mouse, and it's done. I pretty much like this one, actually. Oh, and if you like this video, please uh, leave a like, and uh, even a wee cheeky comment as well, if you've got the time. I know you're pretty busy. Right, so I think that wraps things up. Oh, and the giveaway, ha <laughs> don't forget about the giveaway. Right, there's a link in the description for the giveaway, and it's a first come, first served basis. Click on that link, and you may get a free license to this software, which usually costs around, well, it's $30 right now. So, um, yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? So why are you wasting your time talking to me? When you go, go and click it. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty. Bye-bye.